All right, what's up? So I'm going to do a quick video uh, based on requests by uh, Shashank and uh, just test out, you know, how much damage uh, the free uh, tech Super Saiyan 3 Goku Angel is capable of. Uh, now, I kind of set it up to where Super Saiyan God Goku is a party lead. Uh, obviously, this is going to be, you know, for every green sphere collected, it's going to add 33% in attack. Uh, my friend is the uh, other Super Saiyan 3 Goku Angel uh, just because, you know, it's got 120% stat increases for HP attack and defense for super tech types. Um, you'll see a lot of these characters, like two of these characters are level 1. I only put them in there because uh, they have, you know, the best link skills for this uh, Super Saiyan 3 Goku Angel. So, just, just as a heads up, I've got the special attacks maxed out and his level level maxed out, but I haven't done anything with the hidden potential. I'm not really sure if I'm going to, but, um, you know, just just as an example, just to see the potential, you know, damage he's capable of, I figured I'd upload a video upon the uh, request. So, um, in terms of practicality, you know, this type of setup really isn't ideal for boss battles. Um, I would rather prefer to go, you know, double lead with uh, the Super Saiyan Goku here. Or, you can actually use that Goku as your leader and then have a friend with that. Uh, that is actually the setup I go with on the LR Frieza event uh, for the new one since it is um, uh, an agility type enemy. So that, that actually does quite well. Um, I hit I average about 250,000 in damage uh, once the uh, passive skill of 180% increase to attack takes place. So it's it's pretty good. So all right, I'm gonna go ahead and get started. I've got the item set up to where everything's gonna be green. So um, I'm gonna get everything set up and then you know be right back. All right, so I've got a much better setup this time uh, with the uh, Super Saiyan 2 Team Gohan and then the uh, Bardock. So my uh, Super Saiyan 3 Goku's uh, attack, you know, before the special is 59,765. So let's see, um, you know, how much damage this can do. Alright, so this is much better. It's uh, 334, 845 in attack. All right, definitely a lot better. A million four hundred. So, yeah, two million one hundred seventy nine, two hundred eighty six. So that's a lot of damage for a free card, essentially. You know what I mean? So, um, you know, for those that are thinking about, you know, whether to um, use some orbs and the hidden potential to level him up, uh, he's definitely a worthwhile card to go after if if you don't have you know some of the other cards like uh, you know the God Lead. Um, Super Saiyan 3 Goku Angel or, you know, Time Breaker Bardock, you know, or, you know, any other card like that. If, if, um, you're lacking in those cards, uh, you know, the freebie, uh, Super Saiyan 3 Goku Angel, I mean, it's, it's definitely a pretty, pretty good powerhouse. Um, so I would definitely, um, you know, recommend using him in a tech party if, uh, you know, if, if, if your squad isn't, you know, strong enough, I mean, it's definitely worthwhile to, to get the medals for it, so. All right, well, like I said, if, if you're looking for more of a, you know, um, practical uh, team setup versus uh, nuking party like this one, um, you know, just check the video at the, at the end, and um, <clears throat> it'll link to the uh, LR Freeze event to where I have uh, kind of a, a different setup with the... Um, uh, double Eat Super Saiyan 3 Goku Angels, so uh, definitely check that out. And, uh, you know, if you join the content, um, definitely like and uh, subscribe to the channel. Uh, I'd appreciate that quite a bit. So um, thanks for watching, and uh, check out later.